So this time around, we are going to talk about differentiation of parametric equations. Now, look at these two equations that I have here. x equal to 3t squared plus 1, y equal to t cubed plus 6t plus 2. Both x and y are functions of t, as we can see. So we call t the parameter, and we say that these two equations are parametric equations of x and y. To differentiate parametric equations, we make use of the chain rule. dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt dx. So let's go ahead and look for dy dt and dt dx. All right, y is equal to t cubed plus 6t plus 2. dy dt is this. Differentiate t cubed to get 3t squared. Differentiate 6t to get 6. And differentiate 2 to get 0. That is dy dt. x is equal to 3t squared plus 1. What is the x dt, first of all? That is the derivative of x with respect to t. Differentiate 3t squared to get 6t. That is 2 times 3 is 6, 2 minus 1, 1. Differentiate 1 to get 0. The chain rule says dt dx, but here we are having dx dt. Okay, what we are going to do to get dt dx is to take the reciprocal of both sides. dt dx is equal to 1 all over 6t. You will agree with me that this is 6t all over 1. So if I reciprocate the left, I'm also going to reciprocate the right. So therefore, dy dx, going by the chain rule, says dy dt, and dy dt is 3t squared plus 6. 3t squared plus 6 times dt dx, which is 1 over 60. 1 all over 60. I can factor out 3 from this expression. 3 comes out to have 3, then t squared plus 2. Okay? So that 3 times 2 is 6. Then times 1 all over 60. 3 here is 1, 3 here is 2. So, dy dx will be equal to t squared plus 2 all over 2t. And that's all we have here. t squared plus 2 all over 2t. Let us find dy dx here. x is equal to 2t all over 1 minus 2t. y is equal to t minus 4 all over t minus 2. So, based on the chain rule that we use, that says dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt all over dx. So we need dy dt and dt dx. So first of all, let us get dy dt. This is a quotient. So we are going to make use of the quotient rule to obtain the derivative of y with respect to t here. And going by the quotient rule that says dy dt is equal to v du dt minus u dv dt all over v squared. Let's apply it. This is u, this is v, okay? So v is t minus 2, t minus 2, times du dt. Differentiate t minus 4, you'll be having just 1. That is, differentiate t to get 1, differentiate minus 4 to get 0. Okay, so du dt is 1. Minus u times dv dt. u is t minus 4. t minus 4. The derivative of this denominator is still 1. 1. All over v squared. 
If you have not watched my video on quotient rule, you can do also watch it so that you understand in details what I'm doing here. So here we have t minus 2 times 1 is t minus 2. The minus 1 will expand this bracket and we'll have minus t plus 4. Minus minus is a plus. Then t minus 2 all squared. t minus t is 0. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. 2. Then all over t minus 2 squared. t minus 2 all squared. This is the y dt. Let us get the s dt before we can now convert it to dt dx. We are also going to apply the quotient rule on this. 1 minus 2t is v, 2t is u. So the quotient rule says v du dt. That will be 1 minus 2t times the derivative of 2t. v is 1 minus 2t. 1 minus 2t times u is 2t. So differentiate 2t to get 2 minus u, which is 2t, times dv dt. v is 1 minus 2t. So differentiate 1 minus 2t to get minus 2. Differentiate 1 to get 0. Differentiate minus 2t to get minus 2. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. So dv dt is minus 2 all divided by v squared. That will be 1 minus 2t all squared. 1 minus 2t squared. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times minus 2t is minus 4t. Okay? This minus is going to affect this minus to give us a plus. So we're having plus 2. Okay? So plus 2 times 2t is plus 4t divided by this denominator, 1 minus 2t all squared. So this is it. Minus 4t plus 4t is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. All over 1 minus 2t squared. 1 minus 2t all squared. So this is our dx dt. What now is dt dx? So dt dx will be the reciprocal of this. 1 minus 2t all squared all over 2. It's as simple as this. To get dy dx now, we use the chain rule formula. dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt dx. This is our dy dt. 2 all over t minus 2 all squared. 2 all over t minus 2 all squared times dt dx. This is our dt dx. 1 minus 2t all squared all over 2. 2 cancel 2. So finally, dy dx is equal to 1 minus 2t all squared all over t minus 2 squared, which we can write as 1 minus 2t all over t minus 2 all squared, since they both have the same power of 2. So this is the derivative with respect to x of the parametric equations that we are given. All right? Keep supporting by subscribing, like, and share the video to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next video.